I'm here in a not so sunny Spain to drive Renault's latest, the Megane electric. Now this electric car is something that Renault is considering for India. They're contemplating whether they want to start their electric vehicle business in India with the Megane. This is the fifth generation Megane. Uh, it uh, has come after the Megane, the fantastic looking coupe-ish kind of a sport hot hatch. But what we're here also is to tell Renault whether a car of this sort makes sense for India, how appealing it is to drive and that will effectively weigh in on their considerations for getting the Megane electric to India. For a hatchback, it's almost 4.2 meters in length. Uh, the space inside this cabin can seem a little tighter. However, uh, this is not the best adjustment for the driver's seat. You can still go a little further ahead. You would get reasonably amount, good amounts of uh, knee room. There's a lot of headroom as you can see. And what I do like is that it's got a flat floor. And this is also because it's electric vehicles. So the battery sits under the floor pan over here. It's about 7.5 centimeters thick. It's a very, very thin battery pack uh, that Renault has innovated on. Uh, and it allows you to get a lot more uh, space inside the cabin of course There's also some insulation material that uh, prevents the battery electrical noises Or for that matter even heat insulation that prevents that from coming into the uh, cabin over here But all in all, it's a fantastic cabin The Began E that we're driving now, this comes with the 60 kilowatt hour battery pack And uh, that develops about 218 horsepower with 300 newton meters of torque, which is more than adequate for a car of this size. It's a fairly competent battery as well because Renault's again worked heavily on uh, the battery management system. And since we left this morning, we've seen a range of over 350 kilometers, which of course has dropped down now to about 254 kilometers. Uh, with the battery showing about 73% charge left in it, which means we've consumed about 27% of charge uh, to do just a little about 100 kilometers. I've still got 73% left, which means the range, depending on my driving habit or my driving style, could improve. I am in comfort mode, and if I had to slip down into eco, that range would increase by a significant amount. So one of the innovations on the Megane uh, E is uh, the steering ratio, the variable steering ratio. Now Renault's kind of enhanced this considerably. So the amount of effort that you require is very little, but the turning radius also, or rather the number of turns that the steering takes is almost one twelfth that it, that would take on any of your competitors. So that's it, just about 10 degrees and you get a fair amount uh, of turn in the front wheels. You can see I'm coming up to a corner and that's all the turn that I require. There's hardly about 10 degrees of steering turn that I need to put in to get the wheels to turn in the direction that I want to go in. So the directness is of course there, but it takes a little getting used to because this is something new uh, and we never ever experienced this kind of precision and of course uh, low effort ever before. The Megane Electric has four levels of uh, regeneration which can be selected by using the paddle shifters. One of them of course is the coasting mode where if you're going downhill you just kind of coast down and uh, that would recharge the batteries. In addition you've got three more levels. What I do like is that the intensity, the braking intensity when you let go of the throttle isn't very harsh, it isn't very violent. So you do sense that the engine braking has come on and that the batteries are now charging themselves. It still is a fairly easy, supple, comfortable car to drive, whether you're driving it in urban conditions or in uh, the twisties like I am right now. Another aspect of the Megane Electric is the performance. Now, this used to be a sporty hatchback and those intentions haven't gone away. Renault has continued to maintain it. In fact, with the electric powertrain, 
and this is a front wheel drive hatchback keep that in mind you still get a 0 to 100 of about 7.2 kilometers is what Renault claims which is incredibly fast because just about a few years ago this was sports car territory but now everyday hatchbacks like the Megane Electric are perfectly capable of such blistering speeds top speed however is capped at 160 kilometers an hour in the interests of giving out the best range possible another area that Renault has worked on extensively is the suspension and uh, it uses the Megane Electric uses an independent suspension all round but it's got a multi-link setup at the rear ride quality is pretty impressive you've got uh, very very compliant ride quality stability as well because well we aren't pushing the car around too hard but you do get a sense of body roll especially in these twisty sections uh, there is a little bit of body roll no jitters no unwavering from its line but yes the body roll is apparent if Renault were to bring this car to India it would be ideal to employ a CKD operation this of course would make the Megane Electric more affordable and hopefully see some scalable volumes it would also set the benchmark in marrying luxury comfort practicality and when the mood arises some high voltage action in a hatchback Thank you.